everybody, it's Cooper here. I've got a pickup video for you today, and there's not a lot of retro stuff in here. Um, basically what I have to show you are PS1, PS2, Xbox, and GameCube games. And these all come from uh, two different pawn shops. Uh, the one by my school, and then um, it's the same It's the same pawn shop. Like They're both Cash America, but it's just um, the other one is a little farther away. But um, these are from two or three different trips, I believe. So I'll just start off with, let's see, I'll start off with the PlayStation 1 games. Um, yeah. Didn't really organize these very well. All right. So, uh, one of these comes from the first pawn shop, and it came in a GameCube case. It says Evolution Worlds for the GameCube, but that's crossed out, and it has the title of this game, which is Crash Team Racing. And it's disc only, but I just got this to sell. It's it has some it has some scratches, but it um, it's not too bad. It should play, um, and this generally goes for somewhere around ten bucks. I'm not exactly sure, but that was two bucks. And then the rest of these PS1 games were a dollar each. Uh, the only one that um, I thought that I didn't have any of these, that's why I bought them, was for the collection. But this one, I found out when I got home, I already have it. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. And it's Driver for the PS1. It was a dollar. And I should have looked at these before buying them because this disc is, like, really scratched. I don't, even, I don't think that one will play. Um, and then the games that I got to keep are Polaris Snowcross, like I said, these are a dollar each, Apocalypse, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, and Skydiving Extreme. Um, like I said, I haven't looked at any of these. Skydiving game is, like, brand new. Matt Hoffman's not bad, but it does have a Blockbuster sticker covering the disc. Apocalypse is mint, and Snowcross has lots of really light scratches, but it doesn't look bad. <clears throat> All right. Um, next up, I only got one GameCube game, so I'll just show you that, and that's Mario Party 6. And this one's complete. It's in pretty good condition. And I already have this one, so I did I did get it to sell, but like always, I'm going to switch out the best condition manual or disc and make my copy the most the best condition and sell um, whichever one is whichever one I'm not keeping. And then the rest of these let me see, two of these I got to sell. The rest I'm keeping. So they're about one, two, three, four, five. There's six Xbox games and seven PS2 games. I got one PS2 game to sell and one Xbox game to sell. So the Xbox game that I got to sell is Halo Combat Evolved. Complete. It's in good shape. It generally sells for about five bucks, but that was two dollars. Actually, all these games were two bucks each. Um, the rest of the Xbox games that I got to keep are Teen Titans. Complete. Good condition. Mega Man Anniversary Collection, and I thought that I had this one, so I did get this to sell, but found out I don't, I don't have it, so I'm keeping it. But it is missing a manual, so um, if anyone has a man, an Xbox manual for Mega Man Anniversary Collection, please let me know. Next is Thief Deadly Shadows, and all the rest of these, yeah, all the rest of these are complete. Advent Rising, and Mortal Kombat Deception. So those are all the uh, the um, Xbox games that I picked up, and then the PS2 game that I got to sell is Final Fantasy X, and the case is Greatest Hits, but the disc is black label, and it's complete. So I got this one to sell, usually goes for like 8 to 10, it was 2 bucks, so not a bad deal. 
Uh, the rest of these, actually this one has kind of a story, but the rest of these are just um, games I didn't have that are complete black label for the collection. Two bucks each, but this one here, Need for Speed Most Wanted. And if you saw my last pickup video, I picked this game up, and it was a black label case, but they gave me a Greatest Hits disc. And I got this from the same place, and the lady told me that I could bring back the other one if I wanted to return it. Um, so I'm probably going to end up doing that. And there was another game I picked up, um, this one, uh, Rock Band Track Pack Volume 1. In my last video, I thought that I had, I thought I didn't have this, but I actually did. So I'm going to uh, return this one and the Greatest Hits copy of Need for Speed Most Wanted. But um, this one's complete black label, so I can finally add that in, into the collection. Next up is War Jets, and this is some kind of racing game, um, but that's complete. It comes in like a really, like a GameStop, like a really crappy case, but I've got tons to exchange it out with. Uh, next up is Tony Hawk's Underground. I had Tony Hawk's Underground 2, but I didn't have the first one, so I'm happy to get this. Um, oh my god. Greatest Hits Disc. I hate GameStop so much. It's GameStop's fault too because it's got GameStop stickers on it so you know they had this case out and somebody picked up the case, went to buy the game, they took the greatest hits disc out from behind the counter and put it in there and then it ends up in the pawn shop's hands and then it comes to me which is retarded but so I'm gonna have to return this one too. God that sucks. I'll put that with this one I guess. Uh, next up is SSX on Tour. Pretty cool snowboarding and skiing game, or series, I guess. Complete, black label. Um, it's in like a blockbuster case, so I am going to switch that out. And it looks like there's... this is behind it. So that tells you it's a blockbuster case right there. But it also has GameStop stickers on it, so that's about. Uh, next up is Gladiator Sword of Vengeance. Complete. I thought I had this game so I was really weary about buying it but I wasn't 100% sure and turns out I didn't have it. I had probably just seen it a bunch of times and it probably never had the manual so I never picked it up but glad to have that. Then the last one, um, this is like a $10 game and I almost didn't get this because I didn't see it at first. Um, the second pawn shop I went to is the pawn shop that um, I really don't make it out too much and they always have their games sectioned off like at the very top at the very top left hand corner they have all their PS1 and Dreamcast right below that and going over they have Xbox and then next to the PS2 next to the PS1 they have PS2 and then over on the right side is Wii PS3 Xbox 360 and this game was actually behind some of the Xbox 360 games, so it was just by chance that I found it, because I never even look at the 360 games, and that's Woody Woodpecker. Uh, not an amazing game or anything, but it's a game I've never seen, never even heard of, and it's complete black label in good shape. Two bucks, came home on, came home and looked it up on eBay, and it's about, it's about a $10 game, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I didn't spend too much, and... I have this stack of stuff to sell here, so I should be able to make a decent amount of money back, if not all of it, because um, I really didn't spend that much at all. And Mario Party 6, I should be able to get about 15 or 20 bucks for, so that's pretty good right there. So um, yeah, those are my pickups. Uh, nothing too exciting, I know, I, I apologize for that. Um, I haven't been going to the thrift stores or the flea market. And I've really only been going to the one pawn shop because um, I just don't have the time or the money right now. So, um, but financial aid stuff is uh, coming in soon, uh, hopefully in two to three weeks now. So, once that comes in, um, I mentioned it before, but there will be a pretty amazing pickup video for you guys. It will probably have to be like three or f like five parts at least, maybe. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff. I'm buying, I'm not going to say who it is because I want it to be a big surprise and everything, but I'm buying um, basically a collection and it's going to be pretty cool. It's about f like 400 to 500 games and a bunch of systems and all, all, all this cool stuff. So 
Um, I'll stop rambling on about that. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.